As you heard from Ashley Burke a few minutes ago, the Queen's special bond with Canada extended certainly to its leaders. Former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney knew her well, the two having met often. I spoke with him earlier. Sir, you had, I understand, some pretty fond memories of the Queen, including meeting her in Moncton uh, after your victory in 84. Can you crystallize what you will remember most about your relationship? I mean, like all of us, uh, you know, she had the leadership side, and then she had her personal side. And I found that, um, you know, she, uh, I remember uh, one Sunday night when she was coming to Canada, and we had planned a, a small dinner for her at 24 Sussex. And she uh, conveyed to her private secretary the wish that um, the kids be there as well. And so here was Caroline, who was about, about 11 at the time, and Ben, who was maybe nine, and and Mark, about seven, sitting down uh, at the table, just a few guests, Paul Demer and his wife Jackie, and Douglas Bassett and his wife Susan, and uh, and the kids, and Mila, Mila and me and the Queen. And she, as I said, she treated them with the same courtesy as she would the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Mm. She couldn't have been nicer and, and more down to earth. And uh, so she was, a, she was, a, she was the, 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 the real McCoy. What she is, had a personality and a, and, a, and a charm that was special to her. What an extraordinary vantage point you, you had. You know, when, as Prime Minister, you were pushing uh, for the efforts to end apartheid in, in South Africa, she was a partner in that with you, was she not? She never specifically, she was never political. She never specifically said anything, but you'd have to be awfully dumb not to have read the body language mm -hmm. of what she wanted to have happen. And what she wanted to have happen was a united Commonwealth in solidarity that carried the can for Nelson Mandela and got rid of the apartheid in South Africa. And that's exactly what, over a period of time, happened. In 1990, Mandela walked out into the sunlight for the first time in 27 years as a free man. What an extraordinary memory. Former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney, thank you, sir. Thank you.